Hey guys, how's it going? Intimidate here from Team Pro bringing you a tutorial on how to get the best Twixter 4.5 effects for After Effects CS4. And right here, I'm going to show you actually a clip from my Faint Preview. If you've seen it, great. If not, you might want to check it out. Except I'm going to be showing it to you here. But I've got a nice Twixter in here that I'm going to show you guys how to make. Alright. So it starts off with the Twixter right here. You can't see it much. It's not too slow. It goes into a little camera blur glow. And then it goes straight into the Twixter. So yeah. Anyway, we're going to come in here into After Effects. And we've got our clip already set up here. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to start a new composition. 1280 by 720. About 56. You can have it 60 frames per second, 29.97 frames per second, doesn't really matter. But anyway, um, the part that will matter is when you take the clip, and you're going to want to add the effect, Twixter 4.5, it's under Revision Plugins. And you're going to want to... Alright, so after we have that, um, if you can, you let your project file, you see that it is 59.94 frames per second on this 360 bog. And so you're going to come in, in here, and in the input frame, I'll show you guys right here, you're going to want to type in 59.97. Oh, 94, my bad, that's what it said. Oh, my computer does this sometimes where it holds down on the key because I've got Windows 7 running on my Mac, and I've got Mac running on my Mac at the same time. Alright, so. Right there, we've got um, our input frames there. There's not much else you really need to change. So now what we need to do is... Actually, I'm going to reset it. So what you're going to need to do... I had it already, but you're going to need to do this um, when you first get into it. Is you're going to want to come down here, and there's this film reel-looking thing. It looks like three different film reels. You're going to want to click that to enable frame blending. If you hover over it, it should say... Um, enable frame blending and then once you do that there's a shortcut down here but I'm going to show you the long way just maybe it makes more sense to you um, you're going to go to layer frame blending and then click on pixel motion now the other way to do it down here is if it's like this which it would normally be after you click this you're going to click it once to get the dotted line and then click it again to get this bar it's diagonal bar and that is your pixel blending right there that you would need and that's basically all you're gonna need until you slow down the time now what we want to do is we want to have this like my other like my video and we want it to start off full and then we want it to smoothly get in about maybe here we want it to be uh, maybe a little after it doesn't really matter that much so I won't spend too much time searching for that, but normally I would, just because I want to make it look the best. What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start it off fast, and then right here we're going to want it slow. Alright, so we go back to the beginning, and this is the part that you're going to want to have at full speed. So you get on here, and you go under Effects, it's going to be under Twixture 4.5, under Output Control, you're going to come over here. And under speed, you're going to want to hit the stopwatch right there. If it's at 100%, you're going to want to make sure it's at the beginning and it's at 100% so you get this keyframe right here. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to move forward in your composition to the point where you want it to slow down. And that's about the point where I said I wanted to slow it down, right? So what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to take this and slow it down to, let's do 2% and you hit enter it slows it down now the clips gonna change up here just because as it slows down it loses some speed so right there it goes from a hundred percent down to two percent and my slow ram is gonna have to wait for this to load and alright so it looks like we got this now what we're gonna wanna do is we want this to be smooth right so we're going to want to make this animation smoother than it would normally be when it goes straight from 0 or 100 to 2. To do that, you can actually hit F9 on your keyboard, but since I'm running on a Mac, it doesn't work quite that way. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this second keyframe. I'm going to go to, you could go to keyframe assistant, but I'm going to show you the keyframe interpolation. You come up here, you click on Bezier, and then you hit OK. And now you see that it's actually a stopwatch. Or not a stopwatch, that's actually an hourglass. I don't know why I said stopwatch, but anyway, what that's going to do is that's going to take the effect from being straight from 100 to 2 to kind of giving it a smooth ease into it instead of just um, going straight to it. So if I carry this out actually a little more, I want it to be all the way there, at about there. All right, so it's going to be 100%, and then it's going to slow down until it hits 2. And then from there, it's going to move slowly all the way through. And you're going to have your nice twixter. Now what's good about this is even with these effects, we did we barely did anything to the the um, the actual twixter effects, and we're still going to get the best quality um, that I've gotten so far, even through trying to change all of these uh, through this. So basically, that's all you need. And then you come over here, and you can run a quick quick RAM preview to get that. And you can see if mine takes long enough, I will cut this back after I fix it. Figure it out. All right, so I rendered this out in quarter res because I didn't want to spend so much time wasting for the full res to render out. So if we run a quick RAM preview right here and play it, you can actually see it just a little bit. Um, so another thing I want to tell you guys is that let's say you want it to run longer. You can't really just make this clip longer. So what you have to do is what I do at least. There are many ways to do this. But I feel like the best way is actually coming up here. You right, you right click this blue bar right here. You come up to time, enable time remap, remapping. Basically, you're going to leave these keyframes key alone. You can move those, but what you can do is you can extend the clip as far as you want. And what that does is that makes it so that the effect keeps going on until it runs out of video to Twixter and basically that's how you make really long clips out of your shorter clips maybe but there's other ways to do it by adding in other layers and switching to different comps but I just don't feel like that um, is the best way to do it I feel like this makes it easier and keeps it um, all in one composition for you so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys want more like it and favorite this video let me know leave a comment on this video if you feel like there's something that you have a problem with or you want me to answer for you and I can definitely do that and let me know if you want me to keep doing these kind of tutorials because I have fun editing in After Effects and I really like making tutorials and um, with our new YouTube team making a bunch of tutorials I just wanted to see if maybe I could give it a shot so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please let me know and if not let me know that too and please comment, rate, subscribe and check out more later. Thanks guys. See ya.